Well, I started out freshman year and I knew coming in because my sister played that it was kind of a struggling program and I came in my freshman year with a couple other freshmen who were also a club experience like I did. I guess it made an impact on the team and we ended up having our best season ever for Auburn in history that year. So we just like kind of turned the program around like people wanted to come out and play like and then the next year my sophomore year we had over 40 girls at tryouts, which was unheard of for us in the past. Our coach, Joe Downen, is really supportive and he's really a big part of the turnaround in the program. We just work really hard and gotten a lot better. And then this year, hopefully, we're gonna be in the top part of the conference. So we've worked from the bottom all the way to hopefully the top half of the conference. Next year, I'll be playing soccer in college at University of Illinois, Chicago. That's been my goal since I was really little. So I'm really excited for that next year. <laughs> I was born in Burma. At first, I don't even know what tennis is. Our first practice, we came with a racket that is like a wooden racket, like back in 19, like 1980s racket. So it was really funny because we have no idea what tennis is. And then next year, the next year we have a different coach. He wanted us to get better. He's gonna teach us, so we have like extra practice. It actually really worked. And so I became like a lot better. This year I played number one first single. In the gym we play soccer. And so teacher was like, you know they have soccer, you know, you should try out. And I was like, they do, but I don't know how to play soccer. She said, at least you can run. And so my first main year, I made to varsity. Not because I know how to play soccer, but because I can run. But this year, I think it will be the best year because our coaches, they wanted to have connection, like a family. They wanted to play like United. That's what the coach thought, and it really touched me. Yeah, I really liked it. I started during track my sophomore year, and I was put on varsity right away. I was good at running, but it wasn't my best. And then my coach was like, why don't you try hurdles? And so I tried hurdles, and every year I get better and better. And then this year I just started pole vault and high jump, and I'm predicted to go to state for high jump. I love cheerleading because how close like our team gets and like the family and the bonds we get together. And then also I really, really like stunting and tumbling and just like growing up with them and like seeing us transform and become like great women was like a special moment for me and like being together and knowing that we always will have each other. So in NHS I also get to volunteer and my favorite place to volunteer is the Helping Hands Pantry. It's just so like gratifying to me that like I can make a difference to somebody's life so they won't have to worry like if they can feed their kids the next week or not. Being on Jefferson swim team was challenging at times. We have the smallest swim team of the NIC 10. Being a tinier team, we have less of an advantage. So we mostly just had fun. We weren't there to really win the meets. I made a lot of friends. That was really why I just kept coming back. I knew I wasn't going to place at the big swim meets. I knew I wasn't going to go to state, but I knew like my teammates were depending on me coming back, and it was just like a lot of fun every time we had. My coach, Miss Kim McGriff, she came in and she really turned us around and it was mostly because of how much she pushed us and it was just a great feeling. My mom and my dad have always like pushed me to become as involved as I can. In NHS we, w we adopted a classroom at Riverdall and we bought them presents and we just really made their whole Christmas season and that was a big highlight of my year, like my four years.